folks, it's The Red, and welcome to an update video where I'll be outlining future projects for the channel and other channels I'm involved in. And while I do so, here's a little bit of Popeye Rush for Spinach for the Game Boy Advance that I will be playing in the background. No particular reason for doing so, I just kind of felt like playing a Popeye game for some reason. This isn't really a game I plan to do a playthrough of, but still felt like showing at any rate. It's a pretty basic run-and-jump platformer where you're racing against uh, various characters from the Popeye series to the end of the course. There's items to pick up and throw around like a Mario Kart game, and it's sort of fun. It's good for about 10 to 15 minutes, very pick-up-and-play kind of gameplay. A game like this would do rather well on a phone, I think. At the time I'm making this video, by the way, the Nintendo Switch was just released a couple of days ago, and boy is it looking pretty amazing, as well as Zelda Breath of the Wild. I mean, looking at the reviews of that game, you'd think perfection itself was made. And I'm very tempted to get it on the Wii U, but I'm holding out until I can get a hold of a Switch myself. I didn't pre-order one, I'm just gonna buy it when I see it on the shelf, but yeah. I'm very much interested in trying out Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm not going to be uh, putting it on the channel or anything like that, but I am nonetheless interested. I'll probably share my thoughts on the game on Twitter or something. Uh, what I think of the game. And by the way, if you ever feel like uh, messaging me or asking me anything gaming related, yeah, feel free to visit my Twitter. Y you don't have to comment on whatever my latest video is. If you want to talk to me, you can either use the discussion page or go talk to me on Twitter. Don't worry, I won't bite. Much. Anyway, let's get to the good stuff. What are we doing as far as game projects? The game plan, so to speak. <laughs> oh, wow, that pun was terrible even by my standards. I promise you better puns in the future. But anyway... Before I start talking about the games that are going up on my channel, uh, I figured I should give us some attention to my friends' channels and some of the projects that I'm involved in over there. As you may have recently seen, we have recently completed our Donkey Kong Country 3 playthrough, Squeaky and I, and now the long-awaited Donkey Kong 64 playthrough has begun on his channel. I'll provide a link somewhere on this video. You can click there to go to part one if you'd like to watch that. It's going to be lots of fun, and it looks like we're going to be going for the full 100% playthrough, so this one could go on for a little while. <laughs> I feel so sorry for Squeaky. <laughs> so that's what we'll be doing with that, and yes, we will at some point be moving on to Donkey Kong Country Returns and Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, but that's going to be for a date far from where we are now, so we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Squeaky and I will need to arrange another meetup in order to record that. But I assure you, those games will be coming sometime after DK64. So that's what's going on over there, but then we have some stuff to look forward to on Dookie's channel. I recently came back from a trip to England where I went over to visit her, and we recorded plenty of stuff. Some of it has already started going up such as our Skylanders Imaginators gameplay, where we played through Thumpin' Wumpa Islands. That's going to be a lot of fun, so head on over there and check that out. I'll provide a link here if you'd like to see that. Also going up on her channel are a couple of multiplayer matches in CTR and Crash Bash. Those are going to be something really to look forward to, which is good because I don't really plan to do anything with CTR or Crash Bash or any of the Crash spin-off games on this channel, really. Uh, my efforts are mainly on the No Damage series, and pretty much just on the main series itself for that. So, um, even though I'm not doing anything with those games, there is something to look forward to on that front. Um, other than that, we also have the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 playthrough coming up, and it's going to be chock full of cool tricks and show offery just like the first two games were. And by the way, if you never did see those first two games, well, I'll provide a link to them somewhere around here, so you can go and watch those if you would like. And finally, Kaz and I have decided that we are going to do a playthrough of Felix the Cat on the NES. We both have taken quite a liking to the series and decided that it ought to be fun to do a playthrough of the NES game. 
so why not? So yeah, plenty of stuff to look forward to on that channel. And that's all well and good for Squeaky and Kaz, but what about Red? What can we expect on the Red the Fox show? That's what we want to know. That's why we're watching this video after all. Well, as I said in the video previous, Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex No Damage Run isn't going to be happening just yet. That's going to happen probably later this year. Uh, but the other game that I was going to be looking at was Shantae Half Genie Hero. And even though the game is already out now, not all of the game's content is... Oops, should have let go there. Uh, but yeah, not all the content is available yet. So, what I'm actually going to do is wait on that playthrough. I'm going to wait until all the other characters are playable and all the rest of the content is available so I can tackle the whole game as a whole. I, I would rather do that than just go back and revisit it later when they add more content to it. It, seem it seems like it would be a bit redundant to do that. So, yeah, I'll be waiting on that. We're going to wait on those two games, and in the meantime, we're going to play some other stuff for a little while. And I've decided that the next playthrough that I will be doing for this channel is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the NES. A bit of a cult classic, that one. Trust me, there are a lot of mixed feelings about this game. It's a pretty short one, but also hair-rippingly hard. Um, I don't surmise it's going to take long to do that. I could probably have that done in about four videos. But after that... I'm going to be turning to you, the viewers, to determine what my next project after Ninja Turtles is going to be. I'm going to name four games, and then I'm going to ask that you, in the comments section, tell me which one you'd like to see, and whichever game gets the most votes, that will be the game I play after Ninja Turtles. So, here are the games that I have picked out. I'm looking at either a blind run of Jack and Daxter The Precursor Legacy for PS2, a game that always had my interest, but I never really got around to playing. And hey, it's by Naughty Dog, and it was the first game they made after Crash Bandicoot, so there must be something good in there. The next game I'm looking at is Beautiful Joe for the GameCube. A pretty fun beat-em-up, uh, side-scrolling type of game. I have played this game before, so it will be a 100% let's play. Uh, the next game I'm looking at is Sly Cooper the Thievius Raccoonus for the PS2. Again, this will be a blind run because I haven't played that game before, but it looks pretty interesting, so I'd kind of like to check it out. And the last game up for deliberation is Mega Man Legends for the PlayStation 1. Uh, I've always been a fan of Mega Man games, and Mega Man Legends is something different. It's sort of like Mega Man meets Zelda. So that ought to be a pretty fun game to play. So, yeah. One of these four games is going to be the game that I play after Ninja Turtles, and your votes will decide which one it is. So let me know down below which one you'd like to see the most, and whichever one gets picked the most is the one that I will play. One vote per person, of course. Um, and I may as well mention this, but uh, I do also have something planned for Sonic Mania once that comes out. Uh, we'll have more details on that once the game's actually out. Uh, that's going to be some time after all this. And, of course, there will also be a blind run of Ukulele. I did all those blind runs of Banjo-Kazooie, so I may as well do a blind run of that as well. So look forward to that as well at some point. And with that, I've pretty much covered everything I've wanted to um, as far as the upcoming project, so I guess I'll just finish out this race and then we'll call it a video. I really like this door coming up, because then you can just wait here and let the computers press the button to push to let you go forward. Exploiting AI is fun. But yeah, like I said, this is a pretty simple racing game. It's not really something that you need to go out of your way and play. It's just kind of there, that's all. Should be getting pretty close now. Go, Wimpy, go! And here we are. Alright, so that's it for this update video. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you're looking forward to Ninja Turtles. This is The Red, see you next time.